His mind is totally twisted And he's best friends with death uh, He got a lot of ugly, ugly guards With real bad breath How they float through the courtyard Sweet, now I'm dead That's not what I meant by Wanting a little head So I broke open wall breaks Roast chicken inside And I said This tastes like it's been sitting here since 1469 Greetings internet and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts My name is Philip J. Fry I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan Okay, no, my name is not Philip J. Fry, it's Insanian. Most people know that, but uh, if you're new here, I thought I maybe should clarify that. No, it's Halloween, so I'm dressed as Philip J. Fry, including a really awful wig. And uh, today we are reacting to a bunch of Halloween songs for Halloween. That's today. Uh, or, you know, tomorrow if you're watching this on my Patreon. But uh, we have a bunch of songs to react to from uh, comedy musicians, and uh, I'm very excited to dive into these. We have four songs today. First, we have We Told You So, the Back for Blood song uh, by Stupendium, Dan Bull, Rustage, Schwabati, and uh, Connor Quest. After that, we have a Halloween song by Tom Carty. Uh, after that, we have Dan Bull's Bat Bitch, the Lady Dimitrescu song he released a couple months ago when uh, Resident Evil 8 came out. And to wrap it all up, a new song from a new band, Toby Danger with All Hallows Steve. But if this is your first time joining us, hello, welcome. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that feed the hungry algorithm. And of course, if you want to help support the channel even more, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get to see these videos early, get to hear some of my music early before it comes out, all sorts of fun things like that. Yes, that's right, I am a comedy musician. The song you heard just before this video started was my brand new Halloween song, Dungeon Castlevania. So please check that video out. Uh, what else do I need to say? Oh yeah, if this is your first time, I pause the videos so that I can react and I'm not talking over the, the music. So if you're not into that, the links to all of these videos, uninterrupted by me, are in the description below. Anyway, I think that's everything out of the way. Let's dive into some spooky tunes that are also hopefully funny. I think I misspelled also when I said it. I said it all oh, oh, slow. Or whatever I said. It's blah, 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 blah. spooky. Anyway. So this is uh, Stupendium and Dan Bull, Rustage, Schwabati, and Connor Quest. Uh, this is posted on both Stupendium's YouTube channel as well as Dan Bull's YouTube channel. From what I understand, the versions are mostly similar, except Stupendium's is uh, slightly edited as far as... Uh, I won't say edited, I'll say censored. It's not nearly as profane, I guess? Maybe they censored gore. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. But we're watching the Stupendium version. The link to both versions will be in the description. Let's dive in. Because that was a long intro. Robert Coon, all cleaners to rendezvous with the Stupendium subscribe button. That's all cleaners to subscribe immediately. So they call them cleaners? This is a song about the game Back for Blood, which is the spiritual sequel to Left for Dead. Um... You know, four player zombie hunting fun. Oh, one out. Bloody Stupendium logo. Send help or booze, send help and booze. The end is rather nigh. That's the most British thing I've ever heard. The end is rather nigh. Yes, good, excellent, love it. Watch for birds. Something about a hotel. They. It's 417 with no biscuits. Maybe we're the zombies. So damn sorry. Remember me? I'm that guy that you laughed at constantly all the time. Oh. That whole supplies, I should board some lines up with the break. I'm a safe, I was bored in Titan. All the, the British nerdcore rappers together in one song, and literally together because they're all live action in this. Excellent. 
remember me? I'm that guy that you laughed at constantly all the time. Cause I'd hold supplies, smash your boards on lights, I put the brick on my safe, I was bored and tight. And now look, when it's dark and dark, I can't get online, I look about as dark as fire. Don't suck up to me, I know what your heart desires. I'm not survival, rushes, pushes, bad parts, and pliers. I know what your des what your heart desires. All my supplies and shit. Perfect. <laughs> Damn. I got the tools that you need So for expertise to me they run So living my life as a hermit I benefit now about time that I had me some fun Pick up a pistol I'm pinning the walls Biting my fist and I'm breaking the jaws The bigger they get and the harder they fall Shouldn't brag but I knew I was right all along <laughs> We told you so It's the name of the song I knew I was right all along Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm glad I had me some fun. Pick up a pistol, I'm pinning the walls. Bat in my fist and I'm breaking their jaws. The bigger they get, then the harder they fall. Bat in my fist and I'm breaking their jaws. Just using melee, basically. Bigger they get, the harder they fall. Not G-E-T, G-I-T, which is uh, a colloquial insult in the UK. You call somebody a git. Uh... I don't know what it means. I've just heard it a lot. It's fine. This wig bounces. I look. I. I don't look so much like Philip J. Fry as I do. Like a a messed up clone of Conan O'Brien. Whatever. Also, I I I just have to say, uh, Rustage in the back there with Stupendium has been smiling this whole verse, which kind of kind of hurts the hardcoreness of the song. <laughs> Not really, but it, I find it entertaining. The most stupendium of stupendium openings. Of course, he's talking about the societal collapse and all the supplies that he hoarded. That's great. <laughs> Tell me, Dad, who's laughing now? Brag, but I knew I was right all along. Yeah. They laughed and rolled their eyes when I hoarded gas and stockpiled supplies. One little societal collapse and wow. Tell me, Dad, who's laughing now? Cause now we're ready, we're ridden. Well, I'm beginning to ridden. Cause the miserable existence, I was so sick of living. You just here to kill time. I'm a film of time killing all the bitten idiots who didn't sit up and listen. All the bitten idiots who didn't sit up and listen. Man, I, I, that's such a great little pocket there. That's so good. I don't miss it. Now. I never was the chai type. Ain't saying I'm okay with genocidal parasites. Well, but ain't saying I'm okay with genocidal parasites. Ooh, another little nice, tasty little rhyme scheme there. I love it. You just see the kill time. I'm a film of time killing all the getting idiots who didn't sit up and listen. I don't miss it. Now. I never was the chai type. Ain't saying I'm okay with genocide or parasites. World burns, but it's been in, and we yearn for rotisserie. That worm turned live to a deadly kind of Wait a second. Uh. Genocide or parasites. World burns, but it's spinning. The world burns, but it's spinning. And we yearn for, and we yearn for rotisserie. Because. Rotisserie is the thing that spins the rotisserie chicken. It's on a spinning thing. That's that's fun. That uh, yeah. Rotisserie that worm turned live to a deadly kind of paradise. Clean us off the mop and the sirs. Throw a Molotov clock and a bucket of blood. <laughs> I was up again, a and you were up in the club. It's my turn for fun. You can run, but I told you so. Come to call and the darkness descends at the end. Are <laughs> So they're having some sort of uh, apocalypse rave. Perfect. It's the ultimate neener neener chorus. You know, like, oh, look, doomsday preppers were right. It's the apocalypse. Everybody's been bitten. They're turned into zombies. We're not, we're not gloating. We're not happy that we're cutting through your friends, but uh, we did warn you that this was going to happen. Brilliant. Always tell me I should check my head. You're mental. Now the bodies have been left for dead. Oh, nice, subtle reference. <laughs> Because it is, as I said, made by the people. Always tell me 
I should check my head, you're mental Now the bodies have been left for dead, no vengeful But I'm gunning like an FPS, no dental This ain't covered by the NHS <laughs> No dental, this ain't covered by the NHS Bravo <laughs> Tell me I should check my head, you're mental Now the bodies have been left for dead, I'm vengeful But I'm gunning like an FPS, no dental This ain't covered by the NHS Metal to the heart like a pacemaker I don't need your stupid money, that's just waste paper I'm a game changer, call this grave dangers And they waking up 28 days later Ooh, another good uh, zombie reference, 28 days later They're not called zombies in that They're infected by a rage virus Not, not actual zombies, but still It's usually in the zombie genre I'm just... I'm getting rid of that. That's that's too, too much of the bobbling of the hair. Uh, so yeah, that, that's a good reference is what I was trying to say and then got interrupted by flapping wigs. Uh, ain't nobody care about the Facebook status Know that I've been practicing with space invaders <laughs> Really speaking red and I've been staying hidden I could be the one to light them up Cause man, I hate my neighbors I'll shoot myself in my mother no <laughs> Man, that is, that is the ultimate in... Uh, just don't give a fuck. That's just, yeah, yeah. you know, it's sad that they've all been bitten. I guess they're called the ridden in this instead of zombies, but because a couple people have used the, the phrase ridden. But uh, I, I don't mind because I, I actually hated my neighbors, so I don't mind killing them off. Wow. <laughs> Days later, ain't nobody care about the Facebook status. Know that I've been practicing with space invaders. Village breaking bread and I've been staying hidden. I could be the one to light them up because man, I hate my neighbors. Good little pocket there, too. No, I wouldn't yeah. even hesitate. I let my room a mess, but now I got no need to decorate. Yeah. I don't even care about these better days because now I'm shooting all my shots at tall boys like the NBA. Oh, <laughs> Dan's going full on the accent on this one. <laughs> wow. You know my shots are tall boys like the NBA. Oh, man, this is what I've been writing all day for. What me all like before with full play for. I'm a full play for natural pull mate. With a great flair for a pull in the age. I'm a pro breaker and there's no low mate. And I roast the plank so I break your face. Ooh, again, another great little... Pocket of internal rhymes going through that one. Really, really digging that. I'll blaze them like a bit of rolled paper. Ah, double entendre. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Swap it for a footprint soul trader. S O L E instead of S O U L. I missed that the first time. That was great. That's really good. I don't know what Joel Haver is. Sorry, I'm not. I, I've. I just don't know. <laughs> Man, ah, oh, that is that that verse is fantastic. <laughs> Oh. Has the day. So Connor was the zombie. I didn't catch that right away when he first popped up. I liked that uh, he had a verse. It was in zombie language when he was spitting it, but the translation was in the lyrics. That that actually was fire. That was actually really good. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I missed it. Connor Quest turned here to spit the refrain. Got a real earworm that'll grip your brain, and then his head gets blown off. Oh, I, because there's a third part that I missed. <laughs> Thought I'd be cool. Do this. No, I was wrong. Every brain, put the raven to grave into a burst of gore and the volume 
The look on Shwaladi's face after he blew his head off. <laughs> that was great. Has the day come to call and the darkness descends at the end? All it holds where the party begins. It's for sad you were more like to pretend. We're not happy at all as you cough through your friends. No, I never dreamed I'd become a cleaner. But I had a brother to take a peck and eat. I'm gonna shoot these parasitic brothers to the ether. Santa says the planet has a freaky for my leisure. Ooh. So all the, the people that you play as are clearly called cleaners. I haven't played the game yet, obviously. But, uh, uh, <laughs> man, that, that, that part of the verse was so good. And then I was... But I haven't fathomed a janitor packing heat. Ah. Oh. Banishing these parasitic phantoms to the ether. Ooh, such a good rhyme scheme. Sanitize the planet as a freaky form of leisure. That whole four bar scheme right there. Ooh, really, 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 really dig those that, that wordplay there. That's super fun. They're just having the best time. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. And a huge thanks to my incredible Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible. Not to mention a thank you to Dan Bull, Rustage, Schwabity, and Connor Quest for helping make this project. Bravo to everyone involved. Dan and I have been talking about a Back for Blood collab since the game was announced, and it was super fun to put together. If you enjoyed the song, remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, of and check the playlist for more. And if you really liked it, then why not check the merch store for the new We Told You So tea and poster? New t shirts, meantime, of course. Merch. I've got to go. Some weirdo bit me earlier, and gosh, am I getting hungry? Oh no. Oh no, uh, Stupendium's been bit and they're going to have to kill him. Oh dear. Anyway, yes, please check out the original video in the link below. Uh, link to both Dan and Stupendium's versions. Not that there's too much of a difference, there was really only one swear in it, and I think they edited it in Stupendium's version, and in Dan's it's unedited. But, moving on to the next video... We have Red Flags by Tom Cardi, which of course is going to be in the portrait mode, because it's usually on TikTok, uh, featuring Monte... I cannot... Uh, Monteagni. I'm sure I'm butchering that name, but that's who is also on this song. Red Flags, Tom Cardi, uh, somebody I have reacted to before that is absolutely hilarious. Really looking forward to this one. The day started off so well Begin my night not expecting the fright of my life She was perfect from what I could tell How could I not see the danger right in front of me <laughs> Just randomly floating head, sure. <laughs> That's my favorite too. I love cutting dogs. Baby, I love Scooby Doo. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> That's just it's, uh, only in comedy music can you say completely emphatically that you love Scooby Doo. Like you can say it in a regular song, but it won't be a regular song anymore. That's the, the beauty of comedy music. You can make love songs in any genre. But only in comedy music can that love song be about your love of Scooby-Doo. You can make a love song about your love of tacos. You can make a love song about how much you love farts. That is the power of comedy music. Anyway. I love cutting dogs. Baby, I love Scooby-Doo. Hey girl, what's your favorite film? She said the best movie. Yeah, that's a red flag. <laughs> oh my god. Just having a chorus 
singing the phrase human centipede is already inherently funny. But, oh my god. Oh, that's so funny. Holy crap. Human centipede, not ironically. <laughs> he said the costume design was a Jesus. Tell me what the plot's about. German doctor says they people as too Cool. <laughs> German doctor sews three people ass to mouth. Cool. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's funny. Oh my god, the costume design was a highlight. They're all wearing diapers sewn together with the. Oh, mm. Human Centipede, your favorite movie. Red Flag, wow. It actually said something on the screen there. Oh my god, I'm gonna get stabbed. <laughs> Wasn't sung in the song, but it's there on the screen. <laughs> that is the best pause screen I could ever hope for in any video. That is just amazing. And the word placement on it is just that. That is cinematic genius. Not Human Centipede. This one moment at 1 minute and 12 seconds into the song. Who boy, I... I have problems. Anyway. She said, I admire the narrative of character growth. I try to get the waiter's attention by blinking in Morse code. <laughs> I it so much. I've got something in my eye. Here, let me get it out. No, thank you. I don't want to die. Bonjour, <laughs> sir was blinking at me. Is this because your date is a freak? I heard such a No. Very good then. Bon appetit. Stop hiding behind your seat. I love his Australian French. <laughs> so good. Bonjour, sir was blinking at me. Is this because your date is a freak? <laughs> just, no. Just written in ketchup on the plate, I heart centipede. So good. Very good then. Bon appetit. Stop hiding behind your silly made up red flags and not take a chance on the best relationship you never had. Maybe you're right and I'm looking for excuses. My heart's got bruises, but I'm ready to choose this life. One day we'll get married and be husband and wife. What a twist. With a tasteful ceremony <laughs> and the wedding of our dreams. <laughs> A human centipede themed wedding. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that one actually got me wheezing. <laughs> A human centipede themed wedding. That way we could save on the catering bill. Holy shit, y'all. Oh my god. Oh boy. That's... Oh my god. Oh, what a rhyme. Human centipede, only one mouth to feed. 
God, I pause more times during his little two-minute songs per capita than I do any other song because it's so packed with jokes. Wow. Wow. Also, why are all of his songs such a freaking bop? Man, just to be able to have that much skill in songwriting and in comedy. Oh, so fucking good. God damn. I can finally open mm. myself up to love. I can finally so amount to a Wow, I am those wide-eyed stares. I am so sorry for uh, butchering the name, but bravo, Tom, and I'm just gonna say Monty, because I, I, I'm bad at reading the name to pronounce it properly, and I'm sorry. Uh, holy crap. Oh, I need a minute, wow. Oh boy. Okay, moving on. That is definitely a red flag. Uh, now moving on to uh, the internet's favorite villain uh, in the past couple of months. Lady Dimitrescu, the tall vampire lady from Resident Evil Village, a.k.a. Resident Evil 8, and Dan Bull's Bat Bitch. This is from a couple months ago when Village came out, but... That's kind of Halloween themed, so I figured I would finally get to this one because I, I never got a chance to before. Deal with it. Should I comment? I think it's best to Let me begin introducing a special guest to Could it be that you can guess who? Try once, twice, three times a lady in him address you. <laughs> They're also using the pronunciation of how it's spelled rather than how they pronounce it in the game. In the game, they say Lady, Lady Dimitrescu. The U is silent, but that's also because it comes from a Japanese developer and words that have a U on the end. Uh, like the, the movie The Ring in Japan is called Ringu with a U at the end. So uh, I think they... I, I not certainly... 100% on this, so this is just what I've seen. Certain uh, consonant sounds are difficult without putting the U at the end, I think. I don't know. Correct me in the comments below, please, because I'm I don't know. I'm not certain of this. I don't know why the U is used so often. Uh, but uh, after G's and C's, I see it used a lot in their pronunciations. So I, I don't know. Um, but uh, in Educate me, please, because I, I am unknown in this area. Anyway, back to... Oh, bye, bitch, Lady Dimitrescu. Need a mortal born or made it a test you. Go think of a redeem of distress who's waiting for rescue. Doesn't dress to impress, but to impress you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line, man. Feeling chest pain, she's in a vexed mood. It's a chess game, and the queen's wait to pick the next move. Sexually fetishized as you may just not the hex you. Pay attention, everyone, who did those lady mommy milker memes on Twitter and Tumblr and all that. that yeah, she, she will vex you if you try to sexually oppress her. That's, yes, witchy things. Tall vampire lady, large talons in the hand, you know, by now. Eh. Rescue doesn't press to impress, but to impress you. You're feeling chest pain, she's in a vexed mood. It's a chess game, and the queen's wait to pick the next move. Sexually fetishized as you may just not the hex you. Shove you straight through the doorway into the next room. Just because you're a skeptic doesn't make it any less true, but maybe you'll get it with your face under her left boot. Doesn't <laughs> with your face under her left boot. Uh, everybody was asking for her to step on them. That's just how it is. 
Think that the shines that she made is not the hex You shove you straight through the doorway into the next room Just cause you're a skeptic doesn't make it any less true But maybe you'll get it with your face under a left boot Doesn't favour the flavour of fresh fruit Should rather savour the taste of your neck juice So put on your blue Ooh. suit and favour my dress shoes And have a little skank to that Romanian death fugue Have a skank to the Romanian death fugue Wow! These are these are some excellent bars and and pushing that rhyme scheme through from the start all the way through uh, is fantastic. I, I I love that. Does it favor the flavor of fresh fruit? Should rather savor the taste of your neck juice. So put on your best suit and favor with dress shoes and have a little skank to that remaining death you. Also, with every uh, cutaway, Lady Dimitrescu is getting closer to Dan. Pay the blood bank and you remain in a debt too to get wasted in the way only the debt do. <laughs> Okay, little switch up here in the visuals anyway. And now yeah. It's dusty work, bloody rapping like a bandage, cracking up the chrysalis and put them in a bandage. Bloody rapping like a bandage. Wow. That is a great line too, because Bloody rapping, not with a W but with an R. And like you would rap a bit. You get it. I speak for the sad kids, the disadvantage. Nobody listens to as if it was a different language. I put up a car, she call me mother talk. Sweet cheeks until a bus stop rubble gun. Bubble bar, couple yoga the chuckle but the trouble son. I'll be looking for you under the rubble, but um your death is just the beginning of what you'll suffer from. I'll tell you more when she makes us another double rock. Also uh, appreciating it switching into the slower uh, the the slower flow for for this second verse. I dig that. I'm a bad bitch, as we've established. Holy as a prophylactic that's wrapped over a cactus. <laughs> Holy as a prophylactic wrapped over a cactus. That is an amazing visual, but also an amazing bar. Holy H O L Y, but you're talking about holes H O. L E. Again, I'm over explaining things. It's fine, it's what I do. Saying she's been around since time immemorial, basically. Snap dicks like a matchstick. Ooh. That quick I hit the wooden ways. Chaplin could never slap stick a mad lad with a fat ass that lacks flatness. I'm sat on top of two globes, you pack an atlas. <laughs> <laughs> These are amazing bars about herself. That, uh, it's so funny. Booty gets maximus, booty gets blasphemous, booty the clap in her, shoe heat the bachelors, cannabis for the need to smash the puss to even. Woo! Oh, it's getting nasty in here. <laughs> Catch a bus, take a seat your passenger, as in back of hers, with that perverse, dragging hers, about to burst, you're back to your manufacturer, snatch your purse, like the thatch in yours, the proper chest, the statue. Man, uh, every verse in here is so flippin' solid. Wow, this is so good. Like, putting all those syllable S sounds through those verse, like layering it into the internal rhyme scheme and the outer rhyme scheme just to, to flip all of that through, that flow is tight. That flow is really, really awesome. Sum it up. You say potato, 
I say patata. You stay stigmatized, I stay stigmatic. Sticking this big boy into your sick boy. The bigger the stick is, the sicker the Sig Freud. Lipstick is <laughs> the bigger the stick, the sicker the Sig Freud. Wow, that's a great bar. <laughs> Quite good, it can see a link in geode lifeblood Licking the shit off my lips as if it was a spice rub Your throat's a nightclub at night, it opens right up Why are you so surprised? Take the size of my incisor It's canines of straight slide inside you Sliced up like the Snyder Cut, maybe survivor Sliced up like the Snyder Cut Oh my god, that's funny you're riding life's bareback, my lady Godiva So watch it, my line of fiber optic You dial up, I'm strutting in your glottis Till there's not a bit of bandwidth So I'm sorry man, you're never gonna see your grandkids I'm a bad bitch, Lily Samad Savage A queen speech, even Lady Leisha meets a match with Ooh. I sleep six feet above my match She sleeps above her covers Four feet above her covers Every day is a day where we quote Ghostbusters It's just how it is so me to me between the street to be disastrous I freak a legal beast on the beat Don't even need practice People in the streets are beating the meat to this bad bitch <laughs> Bad bitch Damn. Blood is thicker than water Bad bitch Mother's thicker than daughter Heard word it was a vacancy Flatting a paler seemed unavailable So the fabled vocation went straight to me Ooh. I create sensations degrading What the brain perceives that invade your daydreams Shaking you awake from sleep Replace your faith with an ancient need to mate and bleed So wait and see just how pleasurable pain could be That is what everybody was hoping for When they started fetishizing her on Twitter They, they don't care They want it People, man. And there isn't a wall I couldn't hold you right through. Stepping all on your nether regions like a kaiju. Ooh. Hill of your village until it's in a list on right move. At least appeal in villages to live in if you like. You be medieval, deadly diesel, bury people very deep. You'll barely see your allergies. More meryl sweep or belly legal. With scary teeth more than semi lethal or any needle. Never repelling the evil. Whatever you plead for, we will need your prayer contaminated like Canterbury Cathedral. I'm telling you, people, you're not ready for a sequel. Wow. Wow. Damn. Bravo, Dan, or Lady Dimitrescu, whichever. That was bloody brilliant. Who? <laughs> if you like that song, it's also on Spotify with my other Resident Evil songs. I want to say a big thanks to Fia Cosplay for her work on the costumes and her mesmerizing performance. You can see more of Cosplay. Bravo to Fia Cosplay. Instagram. And if you want to see more weird video game based raps, then subscribe to this channel, Gamble. That's me. Peace. Unedited version will be in the description below. Now we have finally gotten to our final song. Uh, man, that song is good. Uh, our final song is from a new comedy band called Toby Danger. This is a lyric video, so there may not be nearly as many jokes in the video as we would have in a standard video, but lyric videos are still important because it helps get the song out. Uh, so we are checking that out now. We were walking down the street Halloween at night Rocking plastic masks and LA lights We found a rundown house on the darker side of town Decent little, uh, kind of nerf herder or, you know, just your, your standard power punk pop kind of song. I'm digging it. Some older kids were gathered, they were spinning yarns About a bloodthirsty creature that had snakes for her arms He showed you how you'll die if you said his name out loud what is it about all these horror creatures that will appear if you say their name repeatedly? Like you're conjuring them, like Bloody Mary or Candyman or Beetlejuice or Ross Perot, anything like that. It's a, wow, that's a dated reference. I was trying to think of a politician and the worst one that came to mind was Ross Perot. What the hell is wrong with me? Anyway, you get my point. They promised us their whole candy hall. His name is Paul <laughs> and he comes on every Halloween. Every cocky little children need a fright. 
I was kind of more laughing at the just the general average looking dude, just Steve. <laughs> 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 but he told us what it's like to be 35 oh man that's as someone who's 42 i can relate to this song weirdly all right that's <laughs> okay <laughs> that's not exactly where i expected that to go at all oh my camera's dying great hold on a moment okay we're back sorry about that Anyway, back to the song. <laughs> I like for a lyric video, this actually has more than just lyrics in it. There's actual, this is not just a lyric video. It says official lyric video in the title, but it's, you've got a dude playing Steve in there, just 35 and happy to be dancing. That's great. I, you know, I, I dig that. <laughs> but we stood before him, but we didn't trust our eyes Trying to decide if we were traumatized He rocks some cargo shorts and new balance with high socks The, uh, 35-year-old dude wardrobe I, I, I still wear my Vans, I'm not wearing, uh, wearing New Balance yet I, I, I refuse to believe that I'm in my 40s I don't wear high socks. I do rock the cargo shorts, though. It's making me think about my choices. That's what's happening in this song. Toby Danger, are you calling me out? I've had kidney stones three times in my life. Almost every four years like clockwork. It's 2010, 2014, 2018, which means I'm due to get them again next year. They've not been that that big, uh, but they have been big enough that I couldn't pass them and had to have them removed surgically. So uh, y'all y'all are learning way too much about Ian right now in this video. I guess that's true. Uh, but, uh, feeling called out. You don't go out nearly as much as you're back. <laughs> and you're eating mostly vegetables, and you just stay this fat. You went on and on for what felt like days. You told a corny joke and didn't seem half face. But he was the only one that laughed. This is hilarious, but this is hitting me the way that Skipper Dan does by Weird Al in that it hits a little too close to home to be overly funny. <laughs> His name is Paul Hollow Steve, and he comes on every Halloween. He moves so slow, it's like he's barely alive. We thought that we were running free, but now we just want to leave. <laughs> I hear a creak, is that the floor adjust my knees? Now that you're older and approaching the age that All Hallows Steve was. Man, I, I gotta say, man, the music is great. The lyrics are, are great. It's just, it's one of those songs that, that, that's, uh, it's a little too real, guys. A little too real. No, it's, it's very funny. I'm digging this. See a little kid and he's tracking mud. So I pop around the corner shouting, hey there, bud. Smiling all the way up at the scratches, poison me. And then he screams, he screams, it's all hollow steel. I guess the torch has been passed to me. <laughs> <laughs> excellent excellent saw the transition coming but still it's nice to to have the the uh approval of the uh 
the payoff there. That's uh, it's it's nice to to be the confirmation of the payoff, not the approval. I'm not seeking an approval here. Uh, yeah, uh, I I had a feeling that's the way it was going, but uh, still the 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 payoff is still appreciated, and and that's great. <laughs> That's absolutely true. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the dancing pumpkin. <laughs> Bravo to Toby Danger. Uh, like with all the other videos, links to the videos without me talking all over them are in the description below. Please go and check out these artists and support them. Check out all the other Halloween music that is out there. I have one more video of Halloween stuff. It's going to come out after Halloween because today is Halloween, so sorry. But Brian David Gilbert released an ABBA cover album as performed by scary creatures called ABBA. So I'm going to be reacting to that next week. Um, if you like these videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe, maybe consider clicking the bell to get notifications when they come out. And if you really want to help support the channel, support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you can vote in polls on what I'm reacting to, uh, or other polls about my music, get these videos early, my music early, and all sorts of other cool things. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. Happy Halloween. Welcome to the castle, Castlevania. Let me crouch here.